Okay, so keep going on service management. Now we're pretending we're Linda and we actually uh, will take a look at our task list, uh, you know, which shows the service order uh, that I need to work on. And uh, say it's tasks here. And so from the task list, I will go into the actual document showing the header and lines, so the service order. And here we have the surface computer uh, that needs to be repaired. So I take a look at the status of that, what is wrong. I find the surface computer by the serial number uh, inside the company, so I actually found it. I change the status to in process. So I let everybody know that I'm actually working on it. And that could be you know, timed as well, so we know the response time. So it was pending and it's in process. And then I work on it and I find out that uh, we, you know, the power supply was broken. So I go into the, uh, the service item or the service order worksheet. Um, and so there's a worksheet for each one of the lines, there's a worksheet. Because you're working on each one of the, uh, the service items that are broken at a time, and you log your hours and your material for each one of the lines. So in the service order worksheet there, I put in um, the hours that I worked, and the fact that we actually have to ship a power supply to replace it. Uh, and then I close that out and I change this now to finished and get out of the service order uh, and my job is practically done as the repair person for Surface computers. Okay, now we're going to pretend that we're Linda and we're actually going to work on the service order. I can go into tasks, service tasks and see all the service tasks that are assigned to me. Um, and I only have one here. So I can go ahead and say show document. And the description is surface uh, computer will not turn on. And this is the surface computer and we have the serial number here. So I can just say, okay, uh, I'm gonna start working on it. I've, I've found this computer, it's in front of me and now I'm fig trying to figure out what's wrong. So I can say the uh, repair status is in progress. And that changes the in status here in process. So now I'm going to go out of this and go into the worksheet. After tinkering around with it, I figured out that the power supply is broken and we need to replace it. So I go in here and look up a power supply to replace. And it asks me, do you want to replace this component? I'd say yes. And interesting enough, it actually asks me, which component am I replacing? <laughs> uh, obviously the power supply, but uh, we can replace the keyboard with the power supply, but I think the user will not be happy with that. Uh, we can then go ahead and ship that out of the main location. Uh, send one. The price is going to be $89. That could have, of course, defaulted from uh, the item card and then I'm just going to go ahead and log my hours uh, put in two hours uh, and that's it so I am done and I can just go ahead and change the repair status to finished and I can see that is finished right here and so this is good to go for um, management to go ahead and ship out the replacement part and, uh, and book my hours.